opportunity. Rooms gets by Boyd for the flush. Watch out, Daniels picked by Thomas. Here he comes. Mandel Thomas with a second bucket. Here's Arkovic on the feed from Thomas. Drills the triple. The mine is Arkovic. 16 to 9. Ed Cohen, Vin Parisi, and our A10 Network crew with you from Rosso Jim as the Rams convert another turnover into points. It's Brian Smith. That corner three down. Pascal trying to get forward in the lead again. Does so. And another chance at three. Comes down to Miller, and he's stripped by Smith. Pascal all alone. Oh, he throws it down. Windmill style. He felt his team had an opportunity to go in, silence this crowd, and have good momentum at the half. Instead, that's going to be the momentum headed into the locker room there. Eric Pasco with the windmill. Let's see how you play with the lead. Carlton, tough defense there. Room scoops it up. So they get the stop. Sengfeld to the trailer wants it. He's got a three. Here's Daniel, gets a screen, looking for Carlton. Back comes Thomas off the turnover. All the way in for two, Mandel Thomas. Nice. Here comes Thomas. Easy finish, and that time Daniel was not going to come back and foul him. <laughs> the floor, ran out of real estate. Thomas. I love how Mandel Thomas does not hesitate to hit the floor. Rooms! Maybe an exclamation point for Fordham. Great things happen when you hustle. Look at Rooms, tracks his hand all the way down. Mandel Thomas keeps it alive, and then Rooms with the flush. So our public's going to let it go. And Fordham wins it 74 to 59. Sengfelder, 19 points after the break. Eric Pasco, Mandel Thomas, strong as well for the Rams, and they can feel good heading to South Carolina State Wednesday to wrap up conference. Play. Absolutely. Every win is a good win, but guys playing with a high level of confidence tonight as conference play is right around the corner. Well, I said uh, a very solid second half. I was very pleased with it. They, uh, all the adjustments we made, they were able to execute the game plan, which was to pound the ball inside against their zone, and and we held uh, Daniels to four points in the second half, so that was big for us. We, we reached a bunch of our game goals, holding team under 40% from the floor. They shot 37, not allowing anybody to score 20. I think Daniels had 19. Uh, a lot of good things. Uh, 37 to 24 on the glass, 12 offensive rebounds. We went from shooting 48% from the foul line last game to 92% this game. So, their, their youth is making me old. Mandel, uh, you know, great job, uh, you know, playing with poise, getting where he needed to get. Christian dominated the second half, which is uh, the way he's capable of playing. 8 of 14 from the floor was huge. So, that's it. We'll take it. Top 22 assists, 79% assist rate on 28 field goals. What does that say about Sharon Ball and the difficulty I had last week against Manhattan. Yeah, well, once again, Manhattan extended the floor against us. This is something we talked about and worked on, and, and they did the same today. So, you know, you got to learn from your losses, that's for sure. So it appears that we we, we did uh, tonight anyway. Six rebounds from Mandel to go and seven assists. Two I told me how to get ten. I said to him, I want ten rebounds tonight because I know if he gets ten rebounds, that means he's playing hard. He's not just floating around every now and then teasing us with great athleticism. So we had five at the half, he only got one in the second half, so I'm mad at him, I told him. But uh, we can live with it tonight. But I expect him to go out. He's got the ability to go do that, to fill up a box score and do everything that needs to be done. And, and you know, he had seven assists, too, and only two turnovers. So that's good. That's the kind of ratio we should have and we should have. Hey, Chuck. Hey, how are you? Good, buddy. With this game and now South Carolina State coming up on Wednesday, two games in three days, how much does that prep you for a 10 play coming up? Yeah, well, you know, once again, we talked about that. I said we have to build up the second half, well, we, I just said to them. And, you know, we have to play back-to-back -back halves like we did in the second half tonight to, to beat South Carolina State and to build off of that and then go into A-10 play and go get some wins in the A-10, which I anticipate us doing. I expect us to do it. We continue to get better, and we just have to keep working on the little things, and we're going to be okay.
Coach, can you just talk about uh, the performance you got tonight from Mandel? You talked all along about needing the veterans, yeah. Mandel included, to step up, and they did that tonight. Yeah, and even Roomsy. I mean, Roomsy has 11 and 9, and then Mandel has 17 and 6 and 7 assists. And that's what we need. That's the leadership we need. It's great. And we have Christian and we have Eric, uh, you know, playing big roles as freshmen, as Antoine is. But, uh, you know, nine assists, one turnover. Antoine, that's a great line. And I don't think he played very well. I mean, I was on him about defending Daniels better. So, you know, uh, we need to have that veteran leadership. That will lift up these young guys tremendously. And it will allow them to play with less pressure on them to have to make shots. And, and I expect it from Mandel and Ryan and, and Brian Smith, who was solid tonight as well. Mandel, can you just talk about from your end uh, the role you play out there, um, getting the freshman going, but also you obviously want to perform the best you can. And uh, you did that tonight. You worked hard to get to that point. Just talk about how you did out there tonight. Uh, I just think it's important for me to get the freshman going, get them comfortable, because I've been out there. I'm a veteran. I think I could um, ease my way into the game, but always got, also got to stay aggressive, though. Um, let the veterans know I got it back, and that's what I did tonight. What are you most happy with uh, out of your performance tonight? Uh, overall play, rebounds, because I know Coach Austin going to rebound, so I think I did a better effort trying to get more rebounds tonight. Tom, is that really how you envision it, not just from the veterans, but the freshmen stepping up, really a balanced attack up and down the roster, wherever you put out there? Yeah, well, you know, once again, we've talked about this earlier in the year, and I think we have good balance. I, we have a, a number of guys that are scoring double digits, you know. It, it, you know, I talked to Ryan Rooms about, you know, four points at the foul line, four points on offensive rebounds, and a couple in, in, off, in the course of offense gets him his double-digit double points. You know, I know him and Christian are going to battle and rebound the basketball, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's what good teams are. Good teams have four or five guys in double digits, and, and it's a brush fire. You know, you can't can't put it out. Somebody's always picking somebody else up. So, uh, you know, I mean, and that's a good thing, obviously. Balance is a good thing. 23 points of 14 turnovers. Look, we had nine turnovers at the half, three on, on ridiculous alley-oop decisions. You know, it's like, man, just be solid and get us a layup. You know, we're trying to get separation. It's 12 or 14 points. Uh, we don't do it in practice. So I don't know what what goes through their minds at times to think it's going to it's going to happen during games. There's a time and a place for it. I understand that, but it, 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 it it's got to be a good decision, and the time has got to be right. So I was happy with only five turnovers in the second half. Our goal is 12, 13 tops each game. So. And how about your transition defense on the other end? Yeah, not bad. I mean, I thought the zones were good. You know, we put we just put some of that new stuff in, and, and we're going to continue to do it because we need to do that. In conference, especially, we got to take teams' legs away. You know, we got to we got to slow down the pace a little bit, and, and then be able to run out of the zone. And I think we did a decent job of that tonight too. We decided <laughs> rebounding wasn't great out of it. We still have guys turning and going to rebound instead of going to put a body on somebody. But we'll work on that. Christian, ten games in now, are you starting <coughs> to get more comfortable out there? Yeah, I, I think so. I think I'm adjusting every day, every day in practice because we compete really hard, especially like on our positions, like with rooms. Um, so yeah, I think I'm adjusting every every day, and every day I'm getting better and trying to feel more comfortable, especially with the leadership we got from a uh, room Smitty and from uh, Mandel. Like they bring us into the game, they give they give us they give us advices to feel more comfortable to make the right decisions. Tom, what do you see overall from this team right now? Four and six overall record, but you got four home wins. You had uh, Christian with the uh, rookie of the week. Eric with the Rookie of the Week, some positives there. Can yeah. you just provide an overall assessment about a third of the way in? Well, look, you can't, you know, can't live with a rearview mirror, but obviously we're upset about the two games we lost at home early in the year. We'd like to have those back. You know, I said, you know, we should be, you know, we should be six and four, not four and six right now, and, and maybe even better than that. So, but once again, if, if we learn from some of those experiences and it makes us a better team and allows us to win more games, starting with South Carolina State and then moving into conference play, that's what it's all about. But I think, you know, if you look at if you look at the youth of this team, I mean, Brian Smith's the only guy who won't be with us next year, and Ryan Canty comes back and joins us next year. So, uh, you know, it would be foolish to think the, the, that we're not going to grow and become a better team as we move forward. Mr. Um, do you think, did you do this constantly that you shorten the rotations and that a little bit? Yeah, well, you know, one of the things with the young guys, and it's not an issue with Christian, it's not an issue with 
with uh, Eric or a Antoine as often, but some of the other guys they didn't have a good week of practice. So, you know, you're not going to get what you want. You're going to get what you deserve and what you earn. So a couple of the guys came through when they were, you know, the holiday blues and, you know, you were in high school a year or so ago, and all of a sudden they think, oh, it's Christmas practice. We're going to screw around. I'm not going to come in and be ready to go. So <coughs> maybe they learned a lesson, and, and it, you know, it's amazing how that can be a motivator if, if guys uh, are sitting on the pine for a while and you get them going tomorrow in practice, maybe. The Mountain game, I didn't think it was as bad as it looked. I'm glad the you said. The foul shooting wasn't so bad. Yeah, the foul shooting was bad. I thought our lack of aggressiveness in the second half bothered me immensely. You know, one of the terms we use all the time is first to the floor. And that, you know, when you look at certain statistics, when you look at offensive rebounds, and when you look at, uh, you know, those 50-50 plays when you're watching tape, the rebounds when the two guys have it and when that ball's rolling on the floor, when guys are genuinely giving their bodies up to go get it as compared to guys who are diving because they know coach wants them to dive. Those are the plays that tell the toll. In the second half, I thought Manhattan, their veterans played better. Obviously, you know, uh, that was part of the issue. But they played harder than we did, uh, you know, for a good stretch of that game. And, and you're not going to win. We're not, you know, we're not this crazy, talented team that's going to just go out and beat people on talent every night. It's going to be a grind. Thanks, cool. Thanks. Thank you so much. We appreciate everything. Have a good New Year.